Today I'm going to show you how I made these cool model effects for my Astar Militarum army. So the two effects that we're going to make today is a plasma blast and a grenade shot. So we're going to make that using some ballpoint pins, some seed beads, a cotton ball, and some super glue. We're going to start things off by forming the projectile for the grenade shot. Now we're going to do this by attaching a seed bead to the end of one of the pins just by threading the seed onto the uh, pin and just kind of gluing it in place. This will create a elongated section that will be a nice little uh, stand-in for a grenade. Setting that aside to dry, we're going to form the plasma ball for the plasma shot. Now we're going to take a little bit of cotton, form it into a rough circle, just kind of wrap it around the head of the pin, and once we have the rough shape we like, we're going to just kind of twist it into place before super gluing it all together. Now this does smoke a little bit for whatever reason, there's some kind of chemical reaction that causes it to get really hot and smoky. So setting that aside, we're going to create a muzzle flare, and this is going to be done with some cotton, just kind of stuffing it into the end of the drilled out section of the barrel. And once we've got it wedged in place, we're going to kind of push the cotton forward to create a kind of plume of smoke. Now this ended up being a little bit too big, so I took about half the cotton and tried again, and that looked considerably better. Now this one I'm going to glue in place on the end of the barrel and just kind of leave it there, uh, but we're going to make another one using the projectile. So same method, we're just going to create the plume of smoke, and then once that's been formed, we're going to wedge the projectile into place and then very carefully remove any kind of wispy extra bits of the cotton to make sure it looks right and then start super gluing. Now I wanted this one to be removable so that it didn't really uh, add extra visual range of the model so before the glue dried I removed it made sure it was shaped in place trimmed a couple of edges, and then uh, after a test fit to make sure it still stayed in place, we were good to go. Once the super glue is dry, we're going to do a light dry brushing to medium dry brushing of neutral gray. This is going to give a little bit of smoky uh, kind of appearance to the plume. Then we're going to paint the projectile itself with some metallic black, and I followed it up by painting the uh, metal part of the pin with the neutral gray as well to create the illusion of a smoke tray. Now for the plasma blast, we're going to start with a metallic blue, and then we'll follow it up with a dry brush of metallic white. And here we are with the finished effect. All right, everyone, these were really easy to make, really quick to make as well, and you don't need a lot of them to add a nice little bit of extra flair for your display pieces. So that's gonna be it for today. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comments section, and we will see everyone next episode.